A team of researchers in Danville is designing robots that may help the U.S. military navigate, navigate danger zones without putting human life at risk. News 7's Tim Saunders shows us the project and how it's geared up to compete in an international competition. These remote-controlled cars are on a mission. We call it search and tracking. Much like a dog follows a scent, these unmanned vehicles are being programmed to look for and find objects of interest. Without any control from uh, human beings. Once these machines are finished, they'll have a mind of their own. They are supposed to create a map and at the same time detect the objects of interest. Tominari Furukawa is working with 10 engineering students from Virginia Tech to build these robots at the Institute for Advanced Learning and Research in Danville. The machines could eventually be purchased by the U.S. government for use in places like combat zones, where soldiers can send the devices to do work that's not safe for humans. And then they can actually work more effectively, more safely in the battlefield. As they work to perfect these vehicles, the researchers are also preparing for an international competition in Australia. It's called Magic 2010 a contest sponsored by the Australian and U.S. governments to find the world's best unmanned vehicles. Furukawa's team is ranked among the top ten of everyone competing, and they expect to do well in the actual event. Yes, of course, <laughs> absolutely. The machines will take part in the magic competition this November. Tim Saunders, News 7 Danville. What did you think of this? I know, that's pretty. What did you think of this?